just uh, looking at uh, today's uh, week 12 and the four matchups, and there's a lot of games on today, especially the one that uh, was quite slow for today, for example, it's Monday, as you guys do know, and that's the most restored for people of Buffalo, because you guys didn't know, was it just the other day, I remember Buffalo and New York got hit with so much snow, and there was supposed to be a game that was supposed to be scheduled for today's game. Uh, Buffalo Bills, New York Jets, and it's due to the fact that the snow and everything else moves to a Monday game. But, uh, yeah, there's that this one, there's two football games, well, the one's supposed to be scheduled for today because it's back with all the snow that's happening, but, but, uh, you know, I say in football business, or sport business, <laughs> show must go on, but uh, you look at today's week 12 in the home matchups, there's a lot of games in. Actually, yeah, Seahawks are still in action. There's one of the last week Seahawks got beat. <laughs> But I can't see by four. So hopefully those Seahawks today get gets Arizona, which I'll be uh, breaking all the matchups next. Hmm. This is what I love about some of these uh, every day. Watch a lot of football. For me, as as a football guru, I love to watch every 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 Friday. I mean, every day I love to watch this uh, uh, show on the yes from the ESPN's first take. We and you uh, know every day on the ESPN's first take, hosted by Gary Chapman, Skip Bayless. Students, but they take all the big sports headlines and they put their own spin on it. <laughs> they also talk about all the football, they break down all the football matchups. Uh, to but uh, so next I'll be breaking down all oh, week 12 and it's kind of Monday's double header. Week 12 is the boss. And you know, by looking at we're almost the end of the NFL week, it's game down to which teams are making it to the playoffs, which teams uh, won't. I can honestly say, after watching uh, Seahawks last game against the uh, Cat City. You want to see our chances of getting back to the playoffs, getting back to the postseason, <laughs> winning another Super Bowl. A chance that they won't. And this is my playoff Sunday statement. CLCX, they won't get back to the promise line. Ever since they won their first Super Bowl, they've been acting all cocky, they've been all arrogant, they've been pushing their way around, and they get game beat. The Seattle Seahawks lost against Camp C. Last time out, chances are Seattle Seahawks, they won't win their second Super Bowl. They're going to be in their giants. They've been won and done. Chances are, if I had to look at all the teams, <laughs> I want Dallas Cowboys get into the playoffs, <laughs> uh, your Packers, San Francisco 49ers, Baltimore Ravens, New York Saints, the Broncos, you know, Colts, Patriots, Bears, 
Those who think I see in my mind came into the flesh, but I see Russian Redskins with all the controversy that's been surrounding them. I do see again a sliver of hope getting into the flesh as they get their, uh, their house in order, but I don't see the Seattle Seahawks winning their second Super Bowl. That's also my NFL playoff Sunday statement.